Tapped in exclusive. We are the internet. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck bitch. going on. Yeah, yeah. Um. Anyways, tapped in. We're joined we're today, <laughs> but finally, long overdue. Yeah, Charlie Shuffler. We're here. We're here. Um. Thank you for tapping in. First of all, I appreciate you working with my weird strep throat and all that shit, dude. Um. So it's all good. Let's talk about because <laughs> we were just kind of touching on this, right? So, where are you originally from? I'm from Long Beach. Perfect. And let's explain. Like, give me the background. Like Long Beach. Like, what was it like growing up in Long Beach? Yeah, man. I mean, so I kind of I moved around a little bit as a kid, but I feel like my formative years were in Long Beach. Like I said, East Side Long Beach, and um, I don't know, just normal kid shit. I feel like you know what I mean. Like we just did. I, don't know, I played football. Oh hell yeah! You know what I mean. Yeah. Played football. I was like. My brother was in a band. I don't know. Just normal kid shit. Yeah. yeah. Did you do like, I mean, you said you skated, right? You used to skate back in the day. No more skating? I don't skate anymore. Damn. I stopped skating when I when I, when I I got good at football. I stopped skating. <laughs> You're like, fuck yeah. this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I, I skated, bro. I it's I used to actually want to be like a, we used to play Tony Hawk Underground. Oh, fuck yeah. Back in the day. The OG one or the? Number two. Like two. It was number two was yeah. like, was going crazy. And so I used to want to actually be like a skater. And then. Like I said, like eighth grade, freshman year came around. I got good at football and yeah. I like, I just stopped skating. Cause I don't want, I was so serious about it, bro. I don't want to get hurt from skateboarding. Right. So I was like, like I don't want to skate anymore. I'm going to just focus on football, which is funny because football is obviously way more dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> you totally you know get what I'm injured. Saying? Yeah, so yeah. it's like, I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's, that's where I was at. What, um, Underground 2, is that the one that had like the jackass people? Yeah, had like Bam, Bam Margera's and, uh, in there. You, I remember you used to skate like Moscow, Moscow and shit. Yeah, dude, that one's hard. Yeah, that's that crazy. <sighs> Shout out to uh, Tony Hawk Underground. No, nah, facts. Crazy. Um, so skating, football. What did you play in football? What was your position? I played receiver and corner. Oh shit. Yeah. How like were you like super nice? Like you think like bro? I mean, I was cool, bro. <laughs> like, I, I I got a scholarship to play in college. No at way. A Division two school. Yeah, in Nebraska. Holy shit. Yeah. I was dude, I'm telling you, I was I was OD focused on football. Where what was the high school? So my high school, I I like guess I, I went to like a bunch I went to Lawsaw High School. Okay. For a little bit. Shout like out we talked Lawsaw, about. Yeah. And then I went to uh a school called Pacifica, if you're okay. familiar. Yeah, Pacifica. And then I went to another I went to Huntington Beach High School for one semester. I went to three different high schools. <laughs> How was that? Dude. That must have been wild. Hun dude, that? coming from because I went dude, I went from Law Sal <laughs> to Pacifica to Huntington Beach High School. Yeah. And it was crazy, bro. Like, and I the only reason I left Huntington Beach High School because they had a good football team. That's yeah. where I went. The reason I left Huntington Beach High School was because I didn't live in their district. I didn't live oh, in Huntington Beach, but I went there because I wanted to like be on a good team. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. like, I don't know. It was crazy. So they they ended up like figuring it out or something. Dude, no. Nah, I had I left. I went to Huntington Beach High School and went back to the school called Pacifica. Oh yeah, dude, it was crazy, bro. It was crazy. It was so crazy. You, I, hopped, you hopped a lot. I hopped of high around, school. bro. Yeah, I was, I was, I was around, bro. It was crazy. Were you like studious? Like, how? What were your grades like? <laughs> like, did you like school? I mean, I don't know, man. I was. I feel like in high school, I, I was not good at school. Um, I mean, I, I had a good enough GPA to get a scholarship, but then when I went to college, I went to like a junior college. Right, right. And then I, I had good enough grades at the junior college level to get a full ride academic. Oh. scholarship to long beach state that's but i dropped fire. out i dropped out when long i went state. but yeah that's no a good, that's a good school dude. yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, yeah no when i was at the juco level i just i don't know i think i had like a 3.8 i was on the, like the honor in the honor program and shit so you're smart <laughs> i mean yeah you know, I, mean, you got, I mean college is way pa easier possibly than high, school, smart. high school was hard for me but high college school, yeah. was like that was a breeze that was yeah it was super easy what what was it gonna be i mean obviously ended up like doing all the music shit but yeah. what was it gonna be at the time because it wasn't gonna be football right you yeah, I, so yeah, I played. For, I went to the, I went to Nebraska, and then I came back, and then I was. I wanted to play football at a JUCO, and then, dude, I don't. I, I went through a crazy thing because I didn't actually know what I wanted to do. Right, know? right. And then I was like going to school, and the reason I started making beats was because when I was a kid, my dad owned a computer business. Right. Oh. So like as a young kid, I always was around computers. So I was like right. really good. The main thing that I learned was like I was good at like downloading programs illegally. So when oh, I first, fire. so when I was in, <laughs> so when I was in college, in Nebraska, I got hurt. That's why I went back home. And 
basically I was like, I was in my dorm and I was like, I don't know what to do. I always wanted to work in music. Right. I thought a music producer was something way different. I thought a music producer was like an A&R or like a manager. I didn't know. I just oh, didn't know. I didn't got know. You, got you. So I was like, I want to work in music. My brother is in this band. My brother used to show me mad music as a kid. Um, Shout out to brother. What's no, up? no. My older brother paved the way for real. And <laughs> so sick. Basically, yeah, I was in my dorm and I used to just crack like programs, like download illegal programs. Yeah. And then I was just, be, I would be bored and I'd just make beats. In what, my, in my, what did you, was it FL or what did you get? I downloaded FL at okay. first, Shout couldn't out. figure it out. <laughs> and then I downloaded out. this other program called Logic. Yeah. And I, fi- and, I and I figured it out. And then, um, and then, yeah, I came home from Nebraska and that's kind of how I met everyone that i'm connected with like peep and cold heart and all those guys when you came back from yeah yeah, yeah. so I was, I was in nebraska i was just doing college shit and then i came back home to california back uh where my mom i was living with my mom and then yeah. yeah i was barely figuring out how to make beats and then i just got connected with the right people on twitter what okay that's let's let's talk about nebraska <laughs> really quick because that i don't want to like skip nebraska because that yeah, must have please. been weird as fuck dude what was your nebraska so experience weird. so weird i mean like you know what i'm saying like nebraska call it like what the fuck was that like bro that's good, almost more interesting than the peep stuff that's I'm a good sure. question you know what that's i'm saying it's like, a good question like some weird you know what i mean bro i mean so so you so here's what happened i had to move and mind you, I think I'm like 17 or 18 come out of high school. And I'm, I'm from Long Beach, bro. Right. So it's like, I'm going from Long Beach to fucking Nebraska. <laughs> and I go to Nebraska. <laughs> my mom flew with me. And I'm, it, it was a, it was this crazy experience. And then I remember, you I, I don't know if you, like, when you go to college, there's like a, um, there's like a registration day or whatever. Right, like right. They do like Meet a your whole, peers. And, yes, there's like a whole yeah, thing. Yeah. So basically my school they didn't tell my mom because my mom again we flew out from california so like yeah. it was like a it was like a big deal to come out there the first day they make an announcement they go yo um we know you guys just moved into your dorms or whatever but we're actually leaving in three hours every football player has to go to like training camp three hours <laughs> away shit. in nebraska and mind you my mom flew out so yeah. my mom was like wait what? what yeah and i'm just like yo bye mom <laughs> like i, I gotta <laughs> Dude, so I, I'm I'm literally like again like eight, I think I'm like 18 in Nebraska. I do this like crazy. I'm in the wilderness. I've never even been camping before, bro. And I'm camping Holy in Nebraska. Fuck. And I'm and I'm dude. We do this crazy like workout camp in in the fucking woods. Like, like again, two like, a days in the woods. Yeah, yeah. Like dude, at one I remember I don't remember everything. Push ups on twigs, dude. And that was that rocks. was that was even the worst, bro. I remember the the worst thing I remember was that. It was like there was like a team building exercise, and we did like because everyone doesn't really know each other, right? Because right. everyone's like coming to college. Yeah, I mean, some people know each other, whatever. Um, but my group or whatever, we, no one knew each other, and the main thing was we had to carry a log, like a big ass log. I don't yeah. know where they got this shit, but yeah. like we had to carry every member. There's like four or five of us had to carry a log on our shoulders, like a mile or something. Holy and, it was, shit. and by the way, like that same day, I like I just said bye to my mom when she expected <laughs> to like see me for the next like two days. Like it was insane, dude. Wow. It was insane. That's but nuts. it was fun. I I had good memories though, bro. Like during yeah. you know, during like fall and like the summer, it was lit. Like there was a bunch of parties and right. It was fun when it, it, it stopped getting fun when it got cold. Oh fuck yeah! You know what I'm dude. saying? Nebraska cold is is not it's different than Long Beach cold. <laughs> oh, not in day, bro. Not in day. It's like a whole different world. Whole different world. Bro. Holy fuck, yeah, man, bro! So you come back. So so you're there. You're kind of making beats, I guess. At the yeah, time, yeah, kind of to kind some of, degree. To some degree. So what you said, Twitter? Like what what was going on on Twitter? Like you you linked up with people on there somehow? Yeah. So basically, <clears> like I was like I said, I was making beats in college, kind of. I come back home. And I, uh, this is, I, again, I remember this so specifically because my, my brother always had his own, own apartment, but he came back to live with me and my mom. And like, we were sharing a room, like my mom, like we, like in this smallest apartment. And then I remember going on my old ass laptop and this guy named Coldheart, who's yeah. a legend. Shout out Coldheart. Basically, he actually is from Long Beach, but we didn't know this at the time. He, I found, I randomly found him on Twitter. 
Okay. I don't even know how I found them. Like I was like, I don't even remember. I don't remember. Yeah. I used to just go, bro. I was like really hustling. Like I would go through like people's followers and following and like follow people just to try oh. to get, just to try to get opportunities. To and so make I, beats. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. so I so I found Cold Heart somehow, <clears throat> and he randomly tweeted just in the moment, "I need beats. Send beats to this email." And I oh, sent him a beat. Shit. I sent him probably my first five beats or ten beats, and he got on one of them. What? Yeah. That's fucking nuts. It's dude. crazy. You were in LA at the time, right? I was, or you, uh, you came back. Yeah, I came back. So you came back. Were you, did you have a regular job? Like, were you working at the time? I was. I wasn't. I used to work at Chick Fil A. I don't think I was working at Chick Fil A though. Right now, at that point, I so might. I might like, have been contacting Chick Fil A to try to get my job back. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, seriously, though. no, no. That's but see, that's like so integral to the come up story, right? Because yeah. it's like you there. That could have been a fucking. That could have been your. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was your security at the time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's your money. Can't fuck with that. Yeah. You know, and then it's like at the same time you're pursuing the dream. Yeah. That's fucking nuts. And then while you're pursuing the dream, you happen to get the, what the first ten beats you said? I think I yeah, I think made? I made I made like eight or seven beats ever. And I sent all those beats. Again, I don't even know who Cold Heart was. <laughs> I just saw this email who at who are, he's asking yeah. for beats. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna just send everything I have, which again, it was like seven beats or eight beats or something. And then that that they he picked one. He picked one, and then I remember it got like ten thousand plays on SoundCloud. Crazy. And I was like, I made it. That was it. Yeah. And he and he you put quit Chick Fil A. And he put he put. <laughs> I, like, I didn't quit Chick Fil A. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he put produced by Charlie Shuffler, and like oh. in my in my like friend group, my high school. I was posting oh, that all day, and I was that's like, "Dude, ten thousand plays, hell yeah, fifteen thousand plays." I was Fuck like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" You know what I'm saying? I was like, "No one could tell me shit like I made yeah, it." They have zero. <laughs> all of the fucking, all of them have zero. You know what I'm saying? So that's a huge flex, dude. You know, that's, you know? At, at the time, I literally was like, "No, nah, I made it." Like, yeah, I'm good. Fuck yeah, and you know so that like, that's crazy. First yeah. of all, but so you you put that together, that happens, and then what? Like, what's the next thing you do? You know what I mean? Like, are you like, okay, now I have to make a lot of beats. Like now I got to fucking, yes. you know what I mean? Like what was that motivational? Like it was, it was super motivational. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I, I did start making a lot of beats, but then at that point, once I kind of got linked with cold heart, like right. directly, then he would post flyers or whatever, like on his Twitter or Instagram, whatever. And I would, and he would like parties or shows he'd be performing and I'd pull up. Just I wouldn't even tell him. him. I would just pull up. <laughs> And then I would find him somehow, some way, and yeah. I'm like, yo, yo, it's Charlie Shuffler, the guy who produced this shit. And he'd be like, oh. And then he started to introduce me to like everyone else. Right. That's kind of how it got. That's how I kind of got in the mix for real. Got it. Yeah. And you were you were like, so how many beats? I mean, I don't know how many you were making a day, but like how output wise, like mm. how much were you working like on music at the time? Dude, I used to just make beats like five beats a day, three beats a day at that point. Just, nonstop. Yeah, nonstop. And by the way, it's it's crazy because even though Cold Heart got on like one of my first beats, I was still learning how to make beats even after that. <laughs> like I was still learning the program. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like I knew how shit should sound, but like I didn't even like I got like when Cold Heart got on my first beat, I was lucky, bro. Cause I just yes. I don't know how I did it. Like for real. Talk. Like I I I just we, did I mean, it. I've talked to a lot of producers. there's none, right? Like there there's none. Where there's fucking none that I've talked to that have had that same story. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's fucking nuts. It's a yeah, great some story. destiny shit. Bro. Yeah, it is. I mean, like Nebraska to that to Chick fil A. <laughs> like connect <laughs> the dots, crazy, dog. Bro. That's nuts. Nebraska's you know? crazy. Nebraska, crazy. Nebraska is actually So crazy. is your is your actual name Charlie Shuffler? I'll show you my ID right now. It's Charlie Shuffler. Bro. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's your real name. That's my real name. That's not my real name's Kevin Melody. So that's crazy. It's crazy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Respect. Yeah. Respect. But like, but that's what I'm saying. When you have that type of name, they're like, oh, Melody. Oh, people used stage to make name? fun of me, bro. Like, remember, crazy. remember the Facebook days when people would shuffle? Remember shuffle? Oh yeah. Oh. People yeah. used to think I was like an ultimate shuffler. Charlie shuffler. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People thought that, bro. I swear to God. I swear to God, bro. It's, it's all right. That's my real my, last name, though. My my, my real last name is Melody. And yeah, I don't. Do you remember? Fire. Do you remember? Um, it, it wasn't fire in middle school. You remember uh, <laughs> in fucking PE, they would call you by your last name. Yeah. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> it was fucking weird. It was like kind of arbitrary. It didn't make sense. And they would be like, and there was like two, like twin, like four hundred pound black chicks in my PE class yeah. with the first name Melody. They both <laughs> had Melody. 
So every time we'd like run the mile, they'd be like, yeah, both identical. Like the mom was lazy. <laughs> she was like, Melody, Melody. So my fucking PE teacher would yell and be like, Melody, yeah, Melody. pick up your speed. And I'd like turn around and they'd be like, it's not you. Like, That's I was jokes, like, dude. God damn it. Like, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, That's I totally, jokes. I get it, man. Yeah. I fucking get it. So yeah, that's, that's my real last name, bro. You end up, you end up, you're making beats five beats a day. Yeah. Um, and then how does like, how do you meet Peep? Let's talk about that. How does that happen? Yeah. So I met Peep through Cold Heart. Okay. Essentially, but do you remember your first interaction? Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. So base, I'll, I'll tell you the first interaction. So base, and th and it kind of all ties in. But like I said, Cold Heart used to post all these flyers for these parties, these shows, whatever, and I'd pull up, and basically Peep. Before I know who he was, it was Gus. Like before yeah. I knew it was actually, he was Peep. Yeah. He would kind of be in the friend group yeah. around. Right. He looked cool. And like we like, so it was up to each other, but we didn't really talk. But again, he was just like in the circle. Like when I was at these shows in LA, like downtown yeah, yeah. LA. You see him. And so basically I heard this song one day. I think it was like Beamer Boy or something. <laughs> and I, I hit Cold Heart. I was like, dude, who is this? Is that is him? This, is this like, literally? <laughs> no, I literally was like, is this? Peep, bro? Like, is this the same peep I know? Yeah. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, dude, you got to connect us. <laughs> and he connected us. Wow. And that's, and that, and after that, and again, but we met before that. And then, yeah, he connected us on some music shit. And I was like, dude, I love your music, blah, blah, blah. blah. And then, um, yeah, we figured it out. You, you were on, uh, on Hellboy. Yeah. You had two tracks on there, right? Yeah. So were you like, I don't know, because I don't know the process um, yeah. that he was going through, right? So, was he like assembling that consciously or was that just like you guys made those tracks and he was like, all right, I'm going to like take all the songs I have and pick the ones I like. No, he, we, we didn't make anything like on, on Hellboy. We didn't make anything in person, but oh, he was shit. definitely consciously putting together. Tracks. He was like, arranging like, for okay. sure. He for was sure. like that kind of creative, right? hundred percent. But even dude, even every out, like even his actual albums that you hear, like, right. You know, rest in peace. But that he put out post his death. Yeah. Like, he recorded himself and he, like, mixed all his shit himself. Like, there's even songs, what? like, on, like, his first um, album he put out where, like, I think, like, the third verse is, like, offbeat. Yeah. But it's because he, Because like, he's doing it. He's doing it. But that's that's some, like, That's real, why it's good, though. That's some peep shit, it's bro. It's low-key like, fire. You know what I'm you know saying? What I mean? Like, that's, yeah. Damn, R.I.P. Pete, man. Rest That's peace, fucking bro. crazy. Peace. Um, I want to have you do the tapped in wheel. Uh, this is a good. Where's time the wheel at? Yeah. So let's do the tapped in wheel. Let's do it. <clears throat> so, you basically spin it. You get three spins, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. There's lots of different things on there. Are these questions or what? What was going on? <clears throat> Some are. Okay. <laughs> Some are experiences. <laughs> let's see. Spin again. Oh, okay. Grub. Oh, he got shit grub. Bro, know who you remind me of? Low key. T you, know, you know Tom Segura? Yes. You kind of remind me of Tom Segura. That's in a great. great, a great way. That's great. Yeah, no, I love no, it. All the positive way, in things. Way, in a great way. I appreciate that. I take that as a compliment. All right, so you got... Um, what does he have? All right, so you get to try these. Okay. Can you tell us if they're gas or trash. Okay, cool. We'll see what happens. <laughs> And you have to identify. What is that? All right. So we got a Krabby Patty. Yeah. Krabby Patty. Could be gas. Could be trash. All right. Let's go. I, I feel like I used to eat these as a kid. Jordan's sick. This is a big. <laughs> <laughs> My boy oh. Jordan's a big candy guy. You, here, you can. Big you tell candy us, guy. You tell us if it's gas or trash, too. I'm not going to eat the whole thing, but I'll take a bite. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take one bite. Go for it. I don't like how uh, sticky it is to the thing, but... Pause. Big pause. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. To so Krabby Patty. Gas or trash? I'm not going to say trash, but I'm not excited about it. You can Pretty only pick bit. one. <laughs> I'm going to say trash. Gas. I'm saying He's trash. Going gas? I'm saying trash. I'm going oh, gas. You're going gas. gas. So there's a schism. You have to break... <laughs> All right, you tell us, gas or trash? I'm saying trash, bro. <laughs> oh, your turn. All right, break. Make him tie break. Here, we try the M and M's too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so is we this got destroying the, the sound. These are oh, the uh, crinkling. 
Crunchy, crunchy cookie M and M's. Oh, okay. He said gas. It all comes uh, down to good. dairy. These are, these are fire. Crunchy M and M's. What are they? Yeah, called? I'm jacking these. These are good. No, they're all yours. This is all. This is our gift uh, to no. you. <laughs> I'll eat these later. Give them to Jerry. <laughs> I'll eat these later. <laughs> oh my god, really? dude, you're outvoted. Everyone's going gas. I'm, I like the M and M's. All right, you get more spins. <laughs> Spin again. Yeah, you get two more spins. You can give give it a better spin. Oh shit! Top three, DOA. top three dead or alive. So you can pick top three artists. You can do top three producers. You can do top three movies, top three shows, whatever the fuck you like. Anything top three dead or top alive. three dead or alive. You Damn. can be creative. You can pick something weird. Damn, I like that question honestly. Um, I mean, look, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a big show guy. Okay. So I'm gonna go with top three shows that are alive. Damn, this could be controversial. I mean, I'm going number one, ah, Mad Men. Damn, shows. Matt. Number Mad two, Mad is so good. number two. That's a good one. An obvious fan favorite, Sopranos. Yeah, I mean, come on. And number three, hear me out. <laughs> number three gets tricky. I want to say, I Your want. Man said cop out. I want. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's so good. Number three, I want to say The Wire. I do, but but the real me, the real me wants to say Succession. Number three. Damn. Oh, holy shit. No, no, it's fine. That's fine. <laughs> they, they are, but it's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Succession is so gas. Crazy but, gas. Oh God, I, I, like I I'm, I'm scared to put. I I don't want to admit Succession is a top. It's it's great. It's amazing. You're right. It feels, <laughs> it we, have, feels, we haven't seen it, it end, feels, but it right. it's up there. It's up there. Okay, you get. Oh God. Yeah, I, I got. I got. I got to go with. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna stand on that. That's my. That's my top three. I respect. I'm gonna that. stand on that. I respect that. It might change though. It could. It might change. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you get another spin. Let's do it. Last spin. Let's see. Cop or drop? All right. We're gonna show you something. You tell us if you'd cop it or drop it. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, Supreme MPC. <laughs> drop, drop. <laughs> drop. Respect. Not giving into the hype. Let's do another one. Was that fifteen hundred? You go do another spin. Go for it. Oh no, let's do another uh, copper drop. I like that. Oh, a different copper drop? Let's do we do have another one? We might. I don't know. I like that one. <laughs> it's a fun one. But no, we don't gotta keep doing that. <laughs> yeah. Um oh, yeah, okay. Dope. Producers got one lined up. Let's see. <laughs> Copper drop part two. In the meantime, have you ever had owned anything Supreme? I love Supreme. Oh, okay. So yeah. that was just like, you just wouldn't cop the Supreme. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I fuck with Supreme actually. I don't know about like the new Supreme. I haven't really kept up. I haven't kept up with Supreme in a long time. But when yeah, I was a kid, I Supreme that. was fire, bro. Yeah. So super fire. I don't know if it is or well, is also it? the skate shit too. Why would you <laughs> cop this? That's questionable. Why wouldn't you cop this? The this is a real question. I never had I haven't seen a mouse I haven't even seen a mouse pad in a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I'll say I'll say cop. Why okay. not? I'll say cop. Yeah. The support. It's good for your wrist, so don't lose it. Yeah, that's pretty legendary. <laughs> that's jokes. <clears throat> so <laughs> Back to the music. Um, so you so you end up uh, working on Hellboy and shit. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you also have like fucking really legendary songs on Crybaby too. Man. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking nuts. So so Thank what were you. those made uh, long before the release or like how what was the story? Were you with him for those? Yeah. I mean, like I, how did it work? I wasn't with him when he recorded those songs. Oh, like, even we, the Crybaby ones. Yeah, no, oh, we okay. were with each other while he recorded them. But like yeah. we were like hanging out right you know what i'm saying but like yeah, yeah. no when i i just sent them beats right beats and he just got that. on the track how did you know that they were chosen did you find out when the album came I out when the album came out damn yeah that's fucking crazy and how did you um so did you ever like tour together did you ever like like go to a show with him like yeah what was that I have like crazy dynamic? stories with that dude what? crazy share, share them go for it dude Give me so the best speaking ones. of like finding out when you know you had a song on the <laughs> yeah. project so basically i forget what what show it was this is this is years ago damn crazy but um 
he he had a show. I forget what venue it was at, and um, he put out this project called Castles Two with Lil Peep and Lil Tracy. Is Lil yeah. Peep and Lil Tracy? Yeah. But shout this out is Lil before Tracy. Like, this is yeah, yeah. Shout out Lil Tracy. That's my that's Fuck. my brother. But dude, I love this, him. This is before uh, Castles Two came out, and um, yeah, I'm at the show. I'm trying to get in, and literally. I, I forget. I was texting. I think it might have been Cold Heart. Might have been Peep. Someone was, t- there was. Someone was telling me go to the back. Like don't okay. buy tickets to get in. I'm like, all right, <laughs> bet. And I go through the back. I can't get in. I'm struggling for like 20 minutes, like trying to like figure it out. And I'm literally like, at this point, bro, I'm like 20, 21. Yeah. Super cocky. I'm just like, dude, I'm producing all these songs. This kid's performing. Like you're, you know what I'm saying? Like all yeah. that type of timing. Anyways, they were not buying it. And so Peep actually comes to the door and he's like yo and this is my boy young plug right and basically he goes yo these are my guys let them in right now yeah and the security guard was like bet and we got in we got into the show got into the show having a good time whatever and that and then literally that same night i don't know we're like i'm walking around doing my thing whatever and then peep and tracy come up to me they're like yo dude those beats you sent the other day like those that's going on castle too like yeah so he found out there yeah i found out there Holy shit. Yeah. That's nuts. That's how it is, though. I mean, for yeah, like yeah. our shit, like in that scene, it's like, I don't know, it's not like official. Like, no one's going to send you like a. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? The producer, I mean, the, the fucking like beat making world in general is fucking crazy. Yeah. Like, we've interviewed rappers, but we've also interviewed producers. And like, producers are kind of more interesting in some ways. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, because the stories are so wild. It's like, you you work so fucking hard to put a beat together. You hope it works. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know if the fucking rapper is going to love it. You send out God knows how many beats hoping one hits. And then by the time you find out, there's paperwork and blah, blah. Yeah. You know what I mean? For like, sure. uh, who was it? Fucking, uh, we were talking to Rio. Uh, and he did That's the, yeah, he did the back outside boys thing. Yeah. That was like one of the craziest stories I ever heard. He said that. I said, how did you know? How did you know it happened? And he was like, uh, Yachty FaceTime me. <laughs> I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, you FaceTime me and played it. I was like, that's how you knew? He was like, yeah, that's how I found out. Like, that's fucking nuts, man. Yeah, it is. Like, the it way is. you discover this shit and the way you get this shit, um, you know, done is, is it's it's a fucking, it's crazy. Yeah. It's a wild ride, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's fun. Speak, speaking of Yachty, you have a Yachty song. Yeah. Uh, I think it's self-made. I just talked to Yachty, actually. Yeah. What, what's, how did that happen? <laughs> Is that another like? A, dude, that's probably ba- another crazy story, dude. Basically, I was uh, I used to work with this producer named Misogi. Okay, and um, we we would collab on beats or whatever, and then he sent one of our collabs to Yachty. Yachty used it, but like you know, how he like drops those birthday mixes or whatever. He dropped the birthday mix. Okay, and my song or like the song I produced with with Bro was yeah. like on the birthday mix. And then I remember, I feel like, oh yeah, then after that, I forget what happened, a couple of days went by, but then Yachty just DM'd me and goes, yo, send me more beats right now. What? That was off it. of that? Off of that, yeah. So then you just shot him like a pack or something? Yeah. And, and then that it. became- He just DM'd me on Twitter. He's like, yo, send me more beats right now. Dude, Twitter, what the fuck? Yeah. Shout out Twitter. Yeah. That's crazy. Swear to God. None of, like none of this shit's possible without the internet. Isn't that fucking nuts? No, it's insane. It's all done through like DM, Twitter, yeah. fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it was never like that in the past. I know. Holy it used to be way shit. hard to be the producer, way bro. Hard. Yeah, you have no excuse. <laughs> Nobody has an excuse. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. God. But that so did that like drive and that work ethic, like obviously like you did sports and shit. Like yeah. that probably helped. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, no, like, I mean I feel like the football mentality like yeah. helped me lock in for sure. Right. Like some I always like to get advice, you know what I'm saying, for like listeners and fans that like make music. We have a lot of people that make music that love this shit. Yeah. So like advice wise, you know, like discipline, fucking dedication, like what what's some of your advice for those people? Oh man, you're saying advice for like someone who wants for making it like with those beats and shit. Like, I mean, man, I mean, discipline can go a long way, but I feel like, I for for my personal case, like being actually outside networking and like being a real person really went a long way for me. That yeah, you know what I mean. Right. So it's like, I don't know. I, I'm not get like you have to be ready. Like when you have a moment. You have to be like a good enough producer or whatever artist, whatever. To do you, it, you yeah. have to be you have to be good enough to do it. 
But at the same time, you have to be cool enough to be put in that position. Right. So it's like you can't. I don't know, man. I just feel like being a real person right. and like going to these parties or like like actually talking to people and like being like genuine, being genuine, yeah. like that actually goes a long way. Because I never, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like when, even when I met Peep, when I met Coldy, like I never was trying to get something out of these people. Like it right. was like a right. very genuine relationship, right? And, you know, and again, it worked out for me, but I didn't, I never thought it would work out. It wasn't, yeah, that wasn't the point. That's the point. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like I, it sounds so cliche, but right, it's right. like, do what makes sense for you and like, right. do what you love. And also at the same time, like, be actually outside and like, don't, as a producer, it's super easy to kind of be like the nerdy, like, I'm really good at producing. Stuck indoors. And, yeah, no, no, no. That's, that works sometimes, but like, you actually, I feel like nowadays it's really important to you have to be in the room. You have to talk to people. You have to meet. Like, I feel like that really goes a long way. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Personality like, is probably half the battle. It, yeah, and it, no, for sure. <laughs> dude, know, I, like, I just met an artist the other day, and, there, and she was telling me. She was like, yeah, like, I work with really good producers, but they're really weird, and I can't make music with them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Course. So, like, even yeah. if they're so talented, and they're way more talented than me or right. him or, or anyone else, like, yeah. if they're weird or they can't, sit in the room and be cool people like it doesn't matter where you're, it doesn't matter i think that's that's a really good point because like being an artist is i mean it's objectively vulnerable yeah it is right? no like, it is it is fucking having to make music is like so vulnerable it is you know? no it is it is it is well there's some maniacs that probably don't think it's vulnerable you yeah. know what i mean like some no, industry it, yeah, it's a plant type people but like you know what i mean like yeah. having to bear their soul in front of someone who's a robot Probably sucks. You want to be around those people. You bro. know, <laughs> you can't you make need, good records. You need that um, human feedback. I've I've seen I've seen really bad producers make really good songs because of who they are. Yeah, there you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like I don't they're know, not it's, technically it's, gifted, but they're they're able to. You could sit in the room. You could give feedback. You could right. like actually again. You could like have a real opinion. Right. You could have a smart opinion. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. It's, it's just That's like what I'm saying vulnerability. Yeah, yeah. You just I don't know. I feel like as a producer, again, it got for a second. It was, uh, you you got to be a real person. Yeah, and be cool. And be like normal. I feel like that's that goes a long way. Nowadays. Absolutely. Yeah, man. So you have all the production credits and all this stuff. What, what's going on with you now? Like, what? Tell me the Charlie show. Like, what's the next thing? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I mean, dude, I've been working on Mad like. Like alt records, like alt rock, indie rock, yeah. a lot of pop shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Honestly, yeah. I mean, I could give, I could go on and on, but yeah. just mostly like I've been trying to kind of stray away from like what people know me as. So I've been right. like trying to do like a lot of like pop shit and like Different. mainstream esque shit. Yeah. Um. How's that been? Yeah. Like, have you enjoyed that? I do. It's really I love fun. It. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And the the artists you're working with, like. Have you noticed anything different than like working with like a peep or work? You know what I mean? Like what's some uh, differences you spotted? Yeah. I mean, not necessarily with like peep or whatever, but I've noticed like making like a real pop record or even like an alt record. Like it actually, you don't just send the beat to someone and no shame. No, it's <laughs> right, fine. Right, right. But like, you don't just send the beat to someone, make a song. I mean, sometimes that happens, but like you sit for weeks maybe even months like right. working on one song right right you know what i'm saying and yep. that 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 i've learned that a couple of years ago and like that's been a process for me and i love it actually at this point yeah but i feel like that's like a a difference or whatever absolutely you know what i mean yeah it's a more um probably a hands-on process yeah for, it's way more hands-on yeah. way more hands-on yeah. it's like way more collaborative and i don't know but yeah do you have to have you ever like any of those songs that you've worked on, have you been able to like see them perform live? Yeah. Like how's that been? Is that kind of fun? Amazing. Is that like a whole other amazing experience. Because most of the shit that I've been working on now is being performed live by like a real band. Right. So, so it it's must like, have a different lit. level of for sure. You know, like yeah. do, do you like that live element of music? Yeah, love it. It's like love it's it. the best, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think like that's a tough one because there is such a different interaction and relationship when it comes to like just shooting beats and then like being there in person. It's like a whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, um, is there anything that you haven't, or maybe is there someone you haven't worked with yet? That's like on your list. You know what I'm saying? Like that you want to work with? 
Could be thousands, alts. thousands of people. I don't <laughs> know. Just with. put a manifest. You know what I'm saying? I like, mean, man, I get again. I have a I have a whiteboard in my room with, oh. with people. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Sure. But, Can you give me a couple <laughs> names? I'm, I I feel like it sounds it sounds corny and funny, but yeah. I don't know. If this name is sticking out off rip, but Taylor Swift. Shout out Rihanna Taylor Swift, bro. Rihanna, bro. Taylor Drake, Swift sells records. Um. There's nobody that can sell Uzi. records like Taylor Swift. Shout out Uzi. Dom Fike. I don't know. I could go on and on. Yeah. I could go on yeah. And on. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I have a whole list. I have a whole list of people, you know what I'm saying, that I don't know. I, I, I'm really big on like, I've really been super tapped in with like pop music and right. like that right. type of like lane as Hell of yeah. recently. Absolutely. Yeah. That's fucking awesome, man. I mean, uh, your 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 story is 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 a big part i'm so glad we got to do this because i really wanted to have like a good productive conversation about where you come from you know yeah. what i'm saying like how you got to where you are yeah um do you have any good chick-fil-a stories before i let you go <laughs> there has to be like one dude really... i have t- <laughs> give me a good one i, I need a good one <laughs> oh man i have so many chick-fil-a stories i'll tell you i i, I can give you like two yeah yeah okay so the first one, this is when I quit Chick-fil-A. Yeah. So I'm working at Chick-fil-A. I, were, I used to work the headset, like the drive through whatever, right? That's fire. <laughs> and we hired a new girl. And she was cool, whatever. And uh, we're talk, like we're going to know each other. And she's like, oh, who, like what music do you listen to? And I'm like, oh, like so-and-so-and-so. And she goes, oh, I love Lil Peep. By the way, this is like 2017, 2016. Yeah. <clears throat> right. She goes, I love Lil Peep. And I'm like... Oh, I produce for him. Like I just said, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, I actually like that's my guy. I produce for him. And she goes, No, you don't. <laughs> and I'm like, No, I like literally do. Yeah, like I, yeah, it's happening. And, and she's like, No, you don't. And I'm like, No, I do. I'm Charlie Shuffler. And she goes, You're Charlie Shuffler? I'm a huge <laughs> fan of you. And after that, I literally quit like a week later because of that. What? Because I was like, Dude, I can't work with someone who's a fan of me. Someone just said that recently too. I heard that from someone else. That's fucking crazy. Dude, yeah, I literally was like, like, I the girl was super nice, but I was like, yo, like, not on some cocky shit, but I'm like, I'm yeah. way too lit to be here. You're like, what? Like you, my, like a you co-worker. like my work and I'm working here? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Bro, that's insane. And then another story. Shout out to her. Dude, shout that's out to crazy. her, honestly. <laughs> Name is Vlada. It's Vlada. <laughs> shout out to you, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> and then another, another funny story. Um, which has nothing to do with music, but <laughs> I remember, bro, because I was not the best employee. I'm not going to lie. That's fine, dude. <laughs> I worked at Jamba Juice at one point. And That's I was, insane. I was stealing. So. The pink Starburst or whatever you yeah, all had was yeah. going crazy. Yeah. You should love that shit. Yeah. But no, fucking. Um, I give them away for free. <laughs> bro, so I I went, I forget what why this is going on, but me and my boy were yeah. like throwing sauces at each other. Like Chick Fil A barbecue, <laughs> like for no reason. Bro. Just having fun. Just having fun. Yeah. It was like we're about to close and we're just like being idiots. Yeah. And uh, one of these, I I forget. Like I'm, I just overthrow through them and super hard and just splats all over the wall. Oh shit. So like a ketchup or like barbecue sauce yeah, yeah. packet is like yeah. all over the wall and I'm like, oh shit, I fucked up. And then this uh like, one of the people who worked there was like, yo, I'm gonna clean that, and I'm like. No, 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 please, please don't. I'm a clean. Yeah. Because I just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, she, and she literally was like, honestly, like, she told me straight up. She was like, honestly, like, like you're such an idiot. And, like, you always are doing shit like this. Like, I'm going to clean it. Please don't even touch this wall. And I was just like, <laughs> what the okay, fuck? bat. <laughs> and you just walked away. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I was all right, like, have fun cleaning I was like, yeah, shit. sorry for, like, spewing barbecue sauce over the wall. But, like, <laughs> I wanted to clean it. Have fun cleaning that, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, that's fucking amazing, man. Yeah, man. I love that. The, the it's it's funny, like people, like you know, we go back, right? Like from Long Beach to fucking all the high schools, Nebraska yeah. football, skateboard, fucking Chick Fil A. It's it, all these things. Um, you know, they played some role. Yeah, for you sure. know what I'm saying? Sure. Like, and it's uh, it's important to to recognize that. You know? Yeah, and dude, I I feel like I was, I feel like I don't know as a as a kid. When I worked these jobs, I didn't know any better because I was right. like, such, again, like I was such an idiot. I, I only thought I was like, yo, like I worked at a grocery store before too. Yeah. So I was like, dude, people only work at grocery stores or fast food places. Like this sucks. <laughs> like I can't do this. 
I, that's that's like, all I remember thinking. I can't live like this. No, I literally remember thinking to myself, I was like, I, I can't work at a... I, that, that was like my only two jobs I've ever had. So I was like, those are like, that's what people do? Yeah, that's like I mean, that's like all you knew. And too. again, there's people who love their jobs and like, I get it. Of course. But again, at the time, I was an idiot and I was like, dude. I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> right? For, it, it worked out. Yeah. It worked out. But of that was course. my mentality. I was like, dude, like, man. I don't know. That's fucking wild, dude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, so if, if I want people, if I want to make sure people stay tapped in with you. Yeah. Is it Instagram? Is that the best place? Please. Yeah. So just Instagram uh, at Charlie Shuffler. Yeah. Awesome. And then music wise, it's Spotify. It's, it's everywhere. Yeah. Because I'm, I don't really have a profile. So it's like I'm always right, right. producing for other people. Just find you know the saying? tracks. Yeah, you can find, find the, them. Yeah. Use his uh, link in his bio, all that shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Please. Please. Um, Charlie, man, thank you so much for tapping in with yeah. us. We really appreciate it. Um, thank you guys for tapping with us. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell. We're tapping out. Easy. Perfect. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man.